Tonight to a developing story out of Lakeland. Civil rights groups are now demanding Lakeland police officers be held accountable after they claim officers repeatedly punched a man in the face during an arrest. The incident was captured on video. ABC Action News Polk County reporter Rebecca Petit looks into why the man believes he was racially profiled. Antoine Glover says he was repeatedly punched in the face and tased during an arrest that his family is calling unlawful. And now they're demanding those four Lakeland police officers be criminally charged. Hey, stop hey. punching my dad. Yeah, On this night in December, Antoine Glover didn't think he was going to make it home alive. I sat in the back of the police car and I cried. I cried. Now I just thank God that they didn't kill me that night. Regardless of what else happened. I just thank God that I still have my life. Glover tells me just after midnight, he and his stepdaughter were approached by an unmarked vehicle while they were parked in the driveway of his grandmother's home. He says four Lakeland police officers told him they were conducting a traffic stop for not wearing a seatbelt. They never asked who I was. They never asked me for no identification. No license, no registration of the car. He informed the officers he had an active medical marijuana license and was in possession of legally obtained marijuana. I'm telling you, I have my medical marijuana license, sir. What is going on here? Why am I on the ground? Why am I getting punched? What is going on? I have my license, both of them. Why am I getting abused? While the officers were taking Glover into custody, you can see in this video recorded by his stepdaughter hey, stop hey. my dad. that Glover is on the ground with his hands up. Glover is unarmed, laying on the ground with his hands up. He is being repeatedly struck in the face by a member of this corrupt department. Glover's charges include resisting arrest and battery on an officer. His significant other and stepdaughter are also being charged with resisting arrest. I can't sleep sometimes at night because I'm scared. Like every time I hear a siren by my house, I feel like they come to my house. It's just I'm really like hurt because that was my dad and I ain't never really seen that happen. And I want to lose him. Local civil rights leaders say Glover was racially profiled. Meeting with the Department of Justice and submitting a letter to them, urging them to intervene, investigate and charge the officers. We reached out to the Lakeland police to get their side and to try to get an interview. Instead, they send us a statement saying all incidents involving protective actions taken by officers are reviewed by their chain of command in our Office of Professional Standards. It is not our policy to comment on any actions currently under review. The statement from the Lakeland Police Department goes on to say at the time of this arrest, these officers did not have body-worn cameras. In Lakeland, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.